my child has broken the windows, my child has pulled the curtains down, my child has um has is 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 uh his has broken our TV again, etc. etc. Aggression is one of the uh, most difficult uh, behavior that parents have to put up with or families or schools have to uh, put up with uh, when it comes to children with autism. But I want you to just take a breath a little bit and I want you to think about this. While we who are outside having to respond to uh, the child's behavior, the child themselves, they are going through a very, very difficult, um, difficult, they're actually going through a very, very difficult episode. The majority of these children that are struggling with aggression, there is a trigger and there is a driver. If there is anything that you can take away from this video today, I want you to take away the, the fact that the children that are exhibiting aggressive behavior, they are not doing it because they want to be naughty. They are not doing it because they are silly or they are just difficult children. They are doing it because they are sick. Okay, I want, you to, I want to repeat this. The children that are exhibiting aggressive behavior, they are not doing it because they are silly, they are stupid, they, they are just difficult children. They are doing it because they are very sick. And it is our responsibility as parents and as practitioners or caregivers to assess these triggers and find the triggers or the drivers, the things that are keeping us in this, in this environment, the things that are pushing us into behaving this way. Because I have called them sick, I'll probably explain why. The majority of the children that I see in clinic that exhibit the signs of symptoms of, of, of autism or aggression or children that have got aggressive episodes, the majority of them, the majority of them have a trigger or a driver that is so obvious that is usually missed. And some of the, 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 the obvious uh, drivers really are inability to be understood. They are struggling, they are frustrated, they are not being understood by, by, by their own key caregivers or people that should be keeping them safe. That is number one. So communication, inability to communicate can actually be a driver or a trigger that results in a child being aggressive. This is just a, a few of these kids, just a few of them, probably less than 20%. Of these children that are aggressive are aggressive because they are struggling in line with communication the majority of the children that i see in clinic they are struggling with allergies as a trigger or as a driver to them being aggressive yes allergies they show up all the time studies have shown again and again that the number of children nearly 91 percent of children as per a reading study, struggle with the GIT system. The gut is bothering them. Their digestive system is bothering them. And allergies and food intolerances are very common with the children with autism. Nearly all the children that come into my clinic, they struggle with food intolerances. The majority of the children now, actually, I don't even recommend, funny enough, I don't even recommend any food allergy test because the majority of them will come up with a lot of food allergies. So we have to do things a little bit differently to support that child to be able to be tolerant to other foods to heal and to be able to tolerate some foods. Food allergies are the biggest trigger and they are the biggest driver. So if your child is aggressive, I want you to look at what is it that they are eating. Processed foods, gluten, dairy, high histamine foods, things like fish. Uh, yes, as good as it, as, it, as, it, as, as it is. Things like salicylates and phenols, they can actually drive children into being aggressive. And again, let's remember this. If you see one child with autism, you've seen one child with autism. With some children, you give them um, an apple, they are fine. 
with the, some children you give them an apple, it will drive them into being very aggressive. So we've talked about fiddles and salicylates. Okay, so when you see these food allergies, it really doesn't matter which food it is that is triggering. The key is not, the issue really, the root cause of this allergy is not the food. The root cause of this allergy is because the gut is not in the right place. This is why we heavily focus on gut health. So if you have a child who is aggressive, you've tried the likes of CBD, your child is probably put on antipsychotic drug sedatives because they are aggressive. I want you to start thinking about, can we look at the diet instead of numbing or sedating our child? The use of restraining medication, yes, sometimes we don't have any choice because the child is so aggressive that it is beginning to affect the well-being of the other symbols and the parents and their safety. So hence, we end up having these drugs in place. But the drugs themselves are not going to, um, to, to eliminate the problem. They are just masking the problem. They are abandoned. So if you are bandaging, let's look at the root cause of where this issue is. What is the key driver to aggression? You will always come back to the gut. Okay, so look at the diet. Look at what is going on with your child's gut. Constipation shows up a lot of times with the children that are that, that, that are aggressive. I literally have parents, when I ask them how, how constipated is your child, they really don't know. They just think something is coming out, so it means my child is not constipated. Below there is a link that you can actually download the Bristol stool chart that will help you to assess your child's stool and whether your child is digesting their food correctly. For 14 days, you'll be able to to assess, um, you, to, to assess your child's stool, which will actually help you make the decision that you need uh, in, reg in regards to helping your child. So food allergies are one of the big issues, the, the big issues, um, the big drivers that, that we see with aggression. The other third thing that we see really, I, I've spoken about three things. So the first thing I've spoken about communication as a barrier for just a little bit, bit of, of the children. But the biggest percentage is, is on food allergies and food intolerance. And then the other big chunk of, um, of, of the number of kids, they, 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 are usually, um, they usually have uh, insulin imbalances. So we are seeing blood sugar imbalances. And what we see a number of times, like I've said to one of my parents, can you just check the blood sugar of the child once they have that episode of, of, of aggression? They check the blood sugar of the child and what they see is the child is, is, is actually have, has low blood sugar when they when they are having um, an, an, an aggressive episode. So think these key areas and, and, as, and, and, as, and as you can hear, most of these things are reversible. These are things that we can do, we can do something about it. The likes of SIBO and viral infections. They do show up quite a lot as well to, to quite a number of children uh, uh, with, with, with autism. So yes, when we have stabilized the blood sugar, we've, we've, we've removed the food allergies, we've, we've supported the digestive system and we're digesting well. We, we've supported the, adrenaline, the adrenal system and, and the child is still aggressive. Then we may want to just check the blood for, 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 for viral titers and make sure that the child is not carrying a particular virus that is triggering them into, into being aggressive. So there are a lot of things that can be done to eliminate, to eliminate, not to reduce, but to eliminate aggression. And it's, it's, it's very, um, for me, I, I find when I talk to the bigger kids, I find it's one thing that actually caused them to actually, uh, you know, end up having a uh, post-stress uh, traumatic disorder because them having to relive that ideal, that thought that, oh my God, I once did this, I did that, I did this, you know, it's, it's a painful thing. So let's not, um, uh, you know, let's not just sit away and say that's how his, his autism looks like. You know, aggression has got nothing to do with autism. Aggression actually means that my child is sick and the body is just telling us that something is not right. Yes, for some of them, it's communication. If it's communication, then you may look at supportive therapies like uh, like ABA and, and speech and language therapy to facilitate communication and remove the triggers. 
okay you remove the triggers but uh, the majority of them the nutritional subject it's 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 a it's a it's a it's a, it's a it's, um, it's, it's a medical issue that we need to address and correct and the children will be happier again okay my son I remember he was aggressive I think uh, twice and uh, before you know it I was I, I put him straight on the uh, introduction diet we and we eliminated that nearly almost immediately once we put him on the eliminating diet after one week we we, we saw nothing and when and then we started building back again so there is a way of doing it there is a our children shouldn't be uh be exposed to this kind of triggers i hope this has been helpful to you um if it has please uh, like our videos share, comment and share um, our mission is so simple is to maximize our children's potential and change their outcomes one child at a time be an angel and share this video with somebody that needs it we are here to help if you do need any, any of our help, please reach out. Have a beautiful day. Modern life is continually pushing the vitality of our children to its limits, slowly taking away the sparkle in their eyes. This has been a sharp increase in brain-related illnesses like anxiety, depression, ADHD and autism. More than ever, you need a coherent voice to guide you or your child back to optimal brain health. Do not leave it to guesswork. AXE uses an evidence-based, holistic, naturopathic approach to maximize your child's potential and change their outcome. If you do nothing, it does not get better. Act now and allow us to help you put a smile back on your child's face. Your child is deserving and so are you. They said it wouldn't and they did. They said they won't and they will. Acts maximizing potential and changing outcomes one child at a time.